Hi everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. In support of our December 2015 rollout of the Tradesman Machinist, I thought we'd give you an update. So we've recently completed the the uh, Weldon flat setup. Comes with a couple different V-blocks. Today we're going to show you how you can cut off a carbide end mill using a Tradesman. Same kind of thing with it, only with a modified V-block. You just place the tool in the in the V-block there's a slot that allows clearance for the wheel. It's actually easier to load it from this side. There's more supported tool, but so that the video is better, we're going to do this side. So just put your tool in V-block. You can use any clamp. You want to clamp it so that the tool doesn't move or get away from you during the grinding process, which could cause damage to your wheel and your, and your body if you're not careful. This is a regular carbide end mill, so it's probably about 300,000 transverse rupture strength. After we do that, we'll cut one of these four flute destinies off. These things are these are really super hard. It's Mitsubishi. They're about six hundred thousand. So, but you can get four or five lives out of one of these little tools. So, <clears throat> it's got a tradesman has the DC motor in it. So it's very uh, very powerful. You can run it at pretty much any speed. Uh, we say that because up around two thousand RPM is a pretty solid cutoff speed for what we're doing. Um, doesn't get too hot, but you get enough surface feet that it that it has pretty good cutting action. So we'll speed this up to a couple thousand RPM, and then we'll just feed the tool into the wheel. And there's your cut off. Nice and clean. The tool's not too hot because we didn't overspeed the wheel. So now we'll cut off one of these little destinies. These are the Raptors. They're a really great tool. We use them a lot here in the shop for machining steel. Get quite a lot of life out of one of these tools. So we can clamp the tool in. We can actually use a cant twist clamp. Might be a little more robust. Same kind of thing, just bring it in and this, this assembly essentially lets you feed it real square and just feed it. And that's how it's done. That's extremely hard carbide and the whole operation took about 45 seconds.